good morning, good night, wherever you are when you watch this presentation. I welcome you to this time, uh, Midweek Manna, the PM edition. And tonight we're going to talk about habit number two. This morning we talked about habit number one in connected to the seven habits of becoming spiritually strong. And this morning uh, I shared about spending time with God as the first habit. The second habit is to feed your spirit on other sources. Now, I know that may sound kind of weird because some people think all they got to do is read the Bible, which is great. You need to read the Bible. Not taking away from that. That's not what this is talking about. This is about bringing in other spiritual books that uh, will help challenge you, that will help, help you uh, strengthen your mind, to um, strengthen your faith. And also allow you the opportunity to read other things and journal about them. Max Licato is a wonderful author, and I would recommend anything that he that he's written. Other books that may want to you might want to um, use to really challenge yourself is uh, Jesus and the Lynching Tree, or the Cross and Lynching Tree, sorry, by James Cone, or God of the Oppressed by James Cone, as well as as well as uh, the altar in the sky. And there's nothing really wrong with trying to bring in other sources. I think sometimes we, when we only rely on one thing, um, then we are focused on that one thing and not realizing there may be other ways of doing things in our, in our life and in our world. And maybe a different way of getting to location number A. I know I have, a, I have a Waze and a Google Map on my phone and if I put in an address, it would give me at least three different ways to get to the same destination. So as you look at looking at other sources of scripture to read and other sources of books to read, um, as God speaks to you through those um, sources, I encourage you to write it, to write stuff down. Um, even when you do Bible study, to write down thoughts that God may reveal to you or things that may come up in your spirit. A couple of scriptures I want to share with you is the first one is from um, Romans it's from Psalms 139 which says search me O God and know my heart test me and know my thoughts see if there is any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting so when we talk about spending time uh, in other sources we can look at different scriptures as well Proverbs 19 chapter 19 verse 20 says listen to advice and accept instruction that you may gain wisdom for the future so faith comes from what is heard and what is heard comes through the word of christ which is romans 10 17. so it's okay to read other things it's okay to bring other elements into your quiet time with god that we talked about this morning so as you continue to listen to these, we're going to talk about the seven habits uh, to grow spiritually strong throughout the rest of this month. I would encourage you to really to begin to incorporate those things into your life to do a little bit of it every day, especially to spend the time with God in the morning. So thank you for listening to this. And if there's something in what I say that resonates with you, let me know. Just put it in the comment section um, when you watch this particular video. Will you pray with me? God of many names and many places, we just thank you for the way you continue to strengthen us and the way you continue to grow us and the way, God, you continue to challenge us. As we go through the seven habits of becoming spiritually strong, I ask God you would be with us, be with the, those who are struggling with trying to figure out just how to become stronger uh, as Christ followers. God, I thank you that as I go through these things, I'm, I'm learning just as much. And I thank you for the way you uh, continue to touch me as I continue to dive into your word. I ask God you just be with those who may be hurting physically, mentally, emotionally, uh, and physically, that you will give them peace of mind and a mind, in a mind, body, and soul. We thank you and we praise you and all that is holy, especially in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray you have a good evening, again, a good morning, a good night, wherever you are in the world. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.